Today we're going to talk about sliding a swim bait. Hey there, how are you doing today? We are going to discuss another way or a different way to go ahead and fish a paddle tail swim bait. These lures right now are so, so popular and most people will go ahead and toss them out and then just reel them straight back and they catch fish. It works. But if you are on a really pressured fishery, especially in the springtime of the year when it seems like everybody's got the covers off the boats and they're, and they're heading out to the lake. We're going to talk about a method today that is a little bit different and it's very similar to some other things that we have discussed as far as swimming a tube and um, reeling a jig, but this one is called sliding a swim bait. So I want to show you what I've got here. I've just got a, a regular ribbed paddle tail, a rage swimmer here is what I have. And I went and I nipped the end of this off to make it a little bit flatter. I wanted it to seat up better on this uh, round head or this lead head round ball jig head. And I just have it rigged up like that. Okay, just a very traditional style. Now fishing a swim bait this way is really similar to a wacky rig. If you scoot a wacky rig along the bottom, you're covering about that same distance. As a matter of fact, if you want to take a look at some underwater footage on different stick baits, we're going to put that link to the video at the end of this one. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And the way that we would fish this, and I should mention this one is a quarter ounce. And the reason I went with something a little bit heavier, I normally fish this on like an eighth ounce. Um, well, one, it's, there was some wind today, that's why I wanted a quarter ounce. But the most important reason is, is I want it to make bottom contact. I want it to get down there to the bottom and stay on the bottom. So I go ahead and I toss this out. Okay, so first thing I do, go ahead and toss it out, let it sink all the way down there to the bottom. And then I just go ahead and reel steady or just drag a little bit with the rod tip. But my goal is to slide this swim bait along, just slide it forward, scoot it forward just a few inches at a time and if it goes and it hits some sand grass or whatever bumps something into a log that is fine but the goal and the idea here is to look like some sort of bait fish a minnow that is rummaging along the bottom okay of the lake or the river and with these paddle tails with the size of that paddle tail there it really doesn't take much action or speed by the reel to go ahead and get that paddle tail swimming away. Okay, it, it doesn't take a whole lot. So cast it out there, let it sink down, make sure that you've got bottom contact, and then just slide it along the bottom, scoot it along the bottom. And it's pretty amazing how well this open hook round ball jig head like this, it does a great job of coming through vegetation doesn't so do so well always <laughs> against wood of course but man you can just pull it right through vegetation when you feel it hang up this could give it a little pop and keep working it through now some of the variations that you're going to want to make is you know because you're moving it nice and slow and the bass are going to get a good look at it so alter your color Okay, go ahead and keep playing around with the retrieve a little bit until you find exactly what they want. But I really like this quarter ounce size because I can get some depth. Right now, this time of year when it's just kind of transitioning from pre-spawn just up into the spawn, there are still a lot of bass that are out there in the depths and have not come up yet. All kinds of little buck bass running around all over the place, but those larger females are still off a little bit deeper and scooting this along the bottom and staying along the bottom is, is just a really nice way to locate where some of those fish are at. 
The nice thing about using this sliding swim bait presentation is you can cover all parts of the water column with it. You can go ahead and throw it out there, do the normal steady retrieve back, and then the very next cast, go ahead and let it sink all the way to the bottom and just slide it a few inches at a time right there on the bottom of the lake or river. And it's an excellent presentation to use behind other anglers. If you get to one of your favorite shorelines or banks, and there's just boat after boat running down it. This is something that they're probably not doing something that is a little bit different. So really the big key is make sure that you go ahead and keep contact with the bottom, adjust the weight accordingly, go ahead and reel it right through that grass, vegetation, sand grass, and keep working all parts of the water column, but don't forget about sliding it along the bottom. And I think you'll be surprised at just how well this paddle tail swim bait works in this type of situation. And hey, don't forget if you wanna check out that underwater stick bait test, click this video right here. And don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.